for and against Australia's cultural diversity were on display yesterday with at least one turning violent. Some federal politicians uh, raised, said the issues raised were nothing new. They formed the Friends of Multiculturalism Committee during the height of Australia's refugee and asylum debate and say they've been able to keep the idea of multiculturalism alive when the concept was unpopular and under attack. Report. It's I important work, but not many people know about Parliament's Friends of Multiculturalism Committee. Seven years ago, you know, 2007, there wasn't a friend in the building for multiculturalism. So it was a bit cheeky of Maria and I in the first place to say, right, we're starting Friends of Multiculturalism. In 2007, at the height of the debate on refugees and asylum seekers, Liberal Russell Broadbent and Labor MP Maria Van Vakkenu set out to change the political dynamic. We were emerging from a decade-long uh, period where multiculturalism had become a very contentious and uh, negative uh, concept. Few politicians from the major parties were prepared to get stuck into this subject. Any sort of community disturbances were blamed on multiculturalism. So they started the Friends Group to promote multiculturalism and work on issues important to migrant communities. Our diplomatic community was the first to come along and join us in our meetings. You know why? Because they looked at Australia from without and they saw how our multicultural nation is working well. This group has helped to rebuild a political constituency for multiculturalism since then. But crucially, they also get involved in promoting issues from aged care to community and language services. Russell Broadbent and Maria Van Vakkenu were on hand to host the release of the report into the aged care needs of migrant communities with Social Services Minister Scott Morrison, who reflected on their efforts. And I want to commend them for the work that they do in this parliament on building the understanding and support for the many issues that I know are so important. We now have the cultural diversity that says we actually need ethnic-specific aged care facilities. Despite Australia's increasingly ethnically diverse culture, a recent university study found many migrants are unhappy with Australian politics. Many migrant groups don't feel that they are represented in, in Parliament. If people, especially newly arrived people, feel that they are disenfranchised, they're not being heard, they can't participate, then they can't do their bit, not only to help themselves integrate, but to also feel that they can make a difference and influence um, decisions in this country which ultimately are about the way they live here. These two MPs will be trying to make the system more accessible. Catherine McGrath, SBS World News. A brawl in